I won't tell you too many stories, but just to let you know what God can do when you turn the battle over to him, I'll give you just one illustration. A lady came to us and said, I need help. What's the problem? Her husband left her with four children and moved in with a woman with five children. And all the five children belong to five different men. And the lady said, I fought. I used every method a woman can use to keep my husband, but I lost. Now I want God to help me. I said, simple. Now that we've handed the matter over to God, uh, victory will come. I said, we will pray, and your husband will come to beg. She said, no, 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 I'm not asking him to come and beg me. I will beg him. <laughs> I said, we have handed the matter over to the Almighty. Let's see what he will do. Some days later, because we prayed a prayer that God will start a quarrel. And I believe God is asking me to tell this story because there's someone here in a similar situation. I said, God will start a quarrel between your husband and the intruder. A quarrel that nobody will be able to solve. <laughs> and the amen shows me that I'm, <laughs> I'm on target. Few minutes, a few days later, the quarrel started. And the strange woman said to the man, said, don't you know your head is not correct? If your head is correct, how can you leave your wife with four children to come and stay with a woman with five children and none of the five is yours? The man said, that is true, you know. <laughs> he said there must be something wrong with his head. So he packed his load, went back to the wife, when he knocked at the door and the wife opened the door, he prostrated and said, please just take me by the wife, say you are welcome. I decree today that all your defeats shall be turned to victory.